Today we're going to look at explaining, tackling all of the puzzles in Decompression Chamber, um, the fourth escape room in the Adrift in Space chapter of Escape Rooms in Escape Simulator. So to start this room, obviously we're in a decompression chamber floating somewhere in space. Um, you can see we have our emergency hatch here, which looks to be kind of the end goal for this room to open this, and this is what we're going to escape through. So just looking through to see what we kind of have available, there's a manual override with a screen here. Obviously a suit that looks like we need to add a couple of pieces of equipment onto. Um, a keypad here. We have a keypad on the floor. Um, so the best probably place to start is to just start by opening um, all of these drawers here. So you'll see we have a fuse and a keypad, or a tablet, sorry. We can expose the service panel here that looks like um, we'll be plugging some fuses into. Open this drawer, and we have a safety tether, which looks like we'll be adding it to our guy here. We've got a couple more fuses in this. Go ahead and close that up got another tablet here we have some safety rules on a poster here for a cabinet and then a few more fuses here as well we've got a tool bag that looks like it'll clip onto the side of his leg here and also his helmet so the best place to start in this room is likely going through the tablets so you can see maintenance device listings you know that with the panel that we have exposed, some of the things kind of match up pretty obviously here. So we did have an oxygen sensor, we had a temp, uh, temperature sensor in there, the coolant sensor as well. Obviously this one isn't as big a priority, but the temp sensor and the oxygen sensors both have empty fuses here. So we can use this to match up um, the fuse that we need to power each of these. Um, our oxygen sensor is 15, so is our temperature sensor. So we can just scroll through our inventory quickly. Obviously these are the 15 amp fuses. We have the 15 amp here. Sorry, I think I said before um, those were the 20 previously. but So we plug one 15 amp fuse in here, plug in the other, and that'll power both of those. We also have a keypad here, or sorry, a tablet here and we need to figure out these here so using safety protocols these safety rules are the safety protocols that we need to use to get into this keypad here and that's also essentially what this tablet is explaining so if we read here it looks like to stay safe we should not be using or should not be doing these three things so barbecue s'mores if we read through the safety rules here, obviously starting a fire in the chamber is not the best idea. That matches up pretty well to barbecuing s'mores. It's something that we shouldn't be doing to stay safe. Um, so we can turn around and plug three into this keypad here. The second one, use a spoon to fasten the screws. Obviously using the right tool for the job is probably the best safety rule here. Now obviously this number is scratched off, but we can assume that obviously everything else is been in like some sort of numerical order we can assume that this next one obviously coming after seven is eight so we can plug that number in here eight and then the last is to open the door to air out the place obviously do not open the hatch doors unless given direct orders to do so matches up with four so we can turn around and plug four into this keypad here and that'll unlock that drawer for us here so we can go ahead and unpin this it looks like we've got now the display piece, so we should have everything to outfit our suit once we can actually get in there. We also get access to a tool chest here, and what we want to do is pick the right tool that's going to help us open this um, manual override pressure hatch here. So we can get back in this toolbox here, and it looks like almost the squarer tool, not the exact square, I guess it's more of a... I don't know, it's a square with rounded edges, is the tool here that we need to open this panel. So we can go ahead and select that from our inventory, pop that panel off. Now what we want to do here, we can see that every time we put an X in this solution here, it's going to decrease one from A and decrease one from B. If we put a single squiggle, it's going to add two to the A column and add zero to B. 
and if we have the double squiggle it's going to add 1 to A and it's going to add 3 to B. So what we want to do with this one is just if you, when you start, it starts with 2 in your A and it starts with 2 in your B. So what I like to do, there might be more than one solution to this puzzle, but what I've done is I'll start with two X's just to minimize this to both to zero to give us a fresh start. And then I've just added a double squiggle, a double squiggle, and then the single squiggle, another single squiggle. And then this will put us at, um, I believe it'll be six and six. So we'll have two in A, a combined four in A, and then this will be five A and three B and this will be 6A and 6B, and then this last X will cross us off and make both at five. Obviously counting here, we know one, two, three, four, five. We need five in both of these. So we can reset that now to be two and two. And now once we hit start, it'll run this um, pressure solution. So we'll go ahead and hit start. And you can see that everything worked out as we calculated there. So basically what that did is populate this pressure panel here before it was inactive and didn't actually read any numbers. But now we know what the actual pressure is in the cabin. So the next um, puzzle probably best to tackle in this room is to actually start getting our suit together. So if we click on the hologram here, this gives us um, the explanation or kind of what we need to be able to solve the keypad to unlock this door here so again with this decided to leave myself reminders what we're looking for so the first number in this keypad will relate to the first digit of what we're floating on so to get that what you want to do is look out the window we're floating on the stargazer 28 which is the name of the ship we're looking for the first digit of that of what we're floating on so stargazer 28 obviously the first digit of that would be the two so we can turn around and put two into the keypad here standard operating temperature the last decimal digit so we want to look at this screen here the operating temperature the last decimal digit would be four here so anything after the decimal obviously the last digit is four so we'll put four in the keypad second digit of what I'm floating on so again look out the window the second digit of obviously of stargazer 28 is the 8 so we can put the 8 in this keypad and then back to standard operating temperature the first decimal digit so going back to this ship terminal we're not looking for the first digit we're looking for the first decimal digit so the first decimal or the first digit after the decimal is 5 so plug that in 2485 and obviously this unlocks our um, panel here so now we have access to the suit and we can start outfitting all of this with everything that we've found up to this point so we'll plug our helmet on we can add the display we can add our safety tether and we can add our tool um, our tool bag too the only thing that we need to do before we actually add this to the suit is to grab the screwdriver out of the bag here so now that we've done that we can stick it onto the leg and you can see that we get a display saying the power supply is low. Now, if we look at our maintenance device listings, we can see that there's actually, we need 90 amps to power the spacesuit. So how we get that is we use the screwdriver that we stole out of that tool bag there and unscrew this, supply pan this power supply panel up top here. So we can remove that, pull that out of the way. Now you can see we have a 15 amp fuse, another 15 amp fuse, a blown 45 amp fuse, and a spot for a fourth. So we need to come up with some combination of fuses, four fuses, um, to power this suit up. So what we need to do for this, again, is come up with a combination out of all of the fuses that we have here to total up to 90. So we can leave a 15 plugged in. We have two 20s. We have a 30 and we have another 15. So we can use a 15 here, we have our 20 here. We can plug in our 30 amp fuse. So this gives us 50 plus 65. So we're at, we have a difference of 25 here. So what we need to do, obviously there's a 25 amp fuse here, but right now it's currently powering our escape hatch. 
Realistically, we don't need to power this up until the end. So we can steal this fuse out of here for now, plug it into the top, and this gives us power. You can see that the error message is gone. We now have enough power to power up the suit. You want to go ahead and click that, and now all of a sudden we're wearing it. So you can see now, suit equipped is true, our pressure is correct, but we're missing the exit hatch fuse. We want to just go back and unplug that 25 amp fuse that we stole to power the suit. Plug that in. Now you can see that all the requirements are met to be able to open this escape hatch. Pull the lever, and it opens, it opens the hatch there and escapes the room. So very cool sequence of puzzles in this one, really enjoyed it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, give us a like and subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games for more guides, tips, and tricks.